Fox News exposes the real reason that they were forced to fire O'Reilly. The New York Times recently released a biased article claiming that Bill O'Reilly paid a $32 million settlement with a sexual harassment accuser before Fox signed a new contract with O'Reilly. However, Fox News defended their decision and revealed why they really fired O'Reilly. When the company renewed Bill O'Reilly's contract in February, it knew that a sexual harassment lawsuit had been threatened against him by Liz Wheel, but was informed by Mr. O'Reilly that he had settled the matter personally, on financial terms, that he and Ms. Wheel had agreed, were confidential and not disclosed to the company, they wrote. His new contract, which was made at a time typical for renewals of multi-year talent contracts, added protections for the company specifically aimed at harassment, including that Mr. O'Reilly could be dismissed if the company was made aware of other allegations or if additional relevant information was obtained in a company investigation. The company subsequently acted based on the terms of this contract, they wrote. O'Reilly also attacked the New York Times article. Once again, the New York Times has maliciously smeared Bill O'Reilly, this time even failing to print a sworn affidavit from his former lawyer, Liz Wheel, repudiating all allegations against Bill O'Reilly. The Times ignored that evidence, sworn under oath, and chose to rely on unsubstantiated allegations, anonymous sources and incomplete leaked or stolen documents, wrote Mark Fabiani on behalf of Bill O'Reilly in its latest diatribe against Bill O'Reilly. The Times printed leaked information provided by anonymous sources that is out of context, false, defamatory, and obviously designed to embarrass Bill O'Reilly and to keep him from competing in the marketplace, he wrote. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my STC News channel. Goodbye and see you again.